I have some handouts for you here. Good? Thank you. Uh, Rob Anderson, 34 Bass Drive. So, yeah, I'm still on the pizza and consent issue. I gave you all a handout just so you can help to remember the questions I'm asking. So, number one, how did the assignment get into the curriculum? Who added it? Who makes the lesson plan that the teacher delivers to the students? Was this an opt-out assignment or an opt-in assignment as someone had reported? We've been told that the assignment was not supposed to be about sex and an alternate page two should have been given out. Where's the other version? There's no other version found anywhere. There's no second page that's been provided Nothing. The first page speaks about sex and consent. So if, if the first page talks about sex and consent, but the assignment's not supposed to be about sex and consent with a different second page, how does that work? What age was the version that was given out designed for? Is there an appropriate grade that that should have been given out? Should have given out to seniors? I, I still don't think it's appropriate. We're hearing that some of the classes that were taught were taught by a special guest. Who was this special guest that came in and why couldn't the teacher teach it? Was the assignment given out electronically on an iPad? We already know the answer. It was given out on an iPad. Because of that, the students' answers are then going to be in a database. Who has access to that database? Do teachers have it? Just that one teacher? Anybody in the school? Are there places outside of the school system that have access to it? Is that information shared with groups or companies? What procedures have changed to prevent this from happening again? Now, I understand you said you have procedures in place, but that didn't work. So has anything changed since then? This question is for Mr. Hamring. You've repeatedly said it, that this didn't happen. Then you stated, well, it did happen but you're gonna stand behind everything that you had already said, which was basically saying that it didn't happen. So it's a little confusing. Mr. Berrios and Mr. Drezek, you've both actively chosen not to reply. Not really sure why that is. Mr. Anderson, your time is up. Thank you. Thank you. 